Okay, all you people, picture takers out there. I was sitting at home and I realized that many of the tutorials that we've done over the past few weeks have mainly been landscape related. And so I wanted to show you a different technique that could very well be used in a landscape photo, but I wanted to show you what it could also do on a portrait as well. So don't think of this as a portrait trick. Think of this as a whatever trick, but it works really well for portraits as well. So let me show you uh, exactly what it is I'm talking about. In particular, what I'm looking for is to add a little bit of drama to my highlights or the bright stuff as well as the shadows or the dark stuff. And you could think of this as uh, dodging and burning kind of, but I want to do it in a little bit more of a, of a specific way. I want to try and target some of these darker tones and lighter tones as separate adjustments and then manipulate them to my desired effect. Um, and this, this goes along with some of the tricks that we've already done, but we're going to use it in a radio filter instead. Let me show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. So here we are inside of Lightroom, and the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and access that radio filter. Now you can do this by clicking on the radio filter, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, Shift-M, and that will also activate the radio filter. Once you get here, we want to make sure that we choose to create a new adjustment, and we're just going to draw a circle um, over uh, the face of this particular portrait. Now usually, or typically by default, the radial filter is going to be working on the outside of the circle and I actually want this to work on the inside of the circle. If you're not sure which yours is working on, just hit the letter O to turn your overlay on and when you do, you will get all of the uh, red overlay here and you can see whether or not it's on the outside or the inside. As I suspected, when I look at my radial filter, you can see that the outside is being affected so I need to flip that. We can do it by just inverting the radial filter by turning on this little button here. And when we do, we can now see that the inside is being affected. Once I have that in place, the next thing is to modify what's being targeted or what's going to be in the adjustment or not in the adjustment. Now as I already stated, I want these adjustments to be separated because I'm dodging and burning on the face. I'm going to target the bright stuff or the dark stuff. So what I need to do is erase whatever it is that I don't want to be part of this first adjustment. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the letter O to turn this overlay off. And I'm going to look at uh, the bright pixels in the face. In particular, I can see up here on the forehead or on this side of the face is the brighter side of the face. And that's what I'm going to erase, which means that the shadows are going to be left behind. So I'm going to turn O back on. And now what we're going to do is go to brush, go to our eraser, make sure that our eraser tool is all the way up. And all we're going to do now is click on the brightest pixels of the face. And when we do, we can see that those pixels now get erased. Okay. So if I wanted to take out a little bit more, I could just click on another part of the face and I can get rid of this stuff. Again, now what's, what's red, for the overlay is showing me that only the shadows have been selected. So I'm going to turn this off and now I can make an adjustment. I'm going to go to my shadows and pull my shadows down just a little bit. As well, I'm also going to reduce the contrast just a little because that usually softens up the skin really nicely. So if I show you just a quick before and after of what that adjustment has done, we can see how that has targeted those shadows and those shadows only. Therefore, burning or darkening those, those shadow areas. Now I'm going to just repeat the process again, but this time for the highlight side or the brighter side. So what we're going to do is make a new adjustment, draw a new circle, make sure the overlay is turned on. We can see that it's backwards. So we're going to invert it and we're going to move it around. We're going to go up to brush, choose erase, and this time I want to erase the dark stuff, leaving the bright stuff behind. So 
So we're just going to click on the darks. There we go. That looks pretty good. I can click a couple more times. And so now only the brighter parts of the pixels are going to be adjusted. We'll turn the overlay off and now we'll go to our highlights and we'll pull our highlights up as you can see as I move this up and we will again reduce the contrast just a little bit so that it's slightly a little softer. So if I turn the radial filter off and give you a quick before and after you can see what this effect has done to the skin for dodging and burning on the highlights or shadows. And as I stated before, I'm using this in a portrait, but you could use this to dodge and burn highlights or shadows in a landscape photo as well, or any photo for that matter. So don't make this so literal as it relates to portraits. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for your support. I'll catch you in the next episode. My name is Adam. I'm out.